unbelievably beautiful vantage point. I mean, it's wonderful. I get it. This is not this great. We cut thrust atop the peninsula, Hong Kong's oldest hotel, a dignified dive that's been duly decorated by Condé Nast, Forbes Travel Guide, and the croaky cats at Cigar Aficionado magazine. Its colonial cachet has attracted previous men of linen, Wicker and Palin, as well as others who lack the cultivated charisma to travel professionally. Welcome to the Grand Deluxe Harbour View Suite, offering panoramic views of uh, Hong Kong, the Victoria Harbour. Yes, I, I asked for the tree, because we're struggling to make this relevant to Christmas. <laughs> yes. really. That's all you really need. Yeah. That and a panoramic view That's wonderful. with some excellent billboards of gift ideas. Yeah, it's selfie time. It is selfie time. It's always selfie time in my house. The only hotel in the world to have a dedicated research and technology department, rooms come with a sweet relief that only three tablets, ten touchscreen panels and a toilet telephone which cancels incriminating ambient noise can provide. Where's my nearest tablet? The tablet will be beside the bed. Yeah. Okay. One on either you. side. Either yes. side. And in case you forgot your chargers, we have all the cables, oh, every this. socket type oh. at the moment. So. Look at yes. this. <laughs> I've got every... Ch oh, this is a pleasure. This is... That's impressive. I'll be honest. And they said it wasn't a Christmas show. This is, this is a Christmas show. That is a show. gift in and of itself. Look right at... There. Look, every, at many, look every, at this. Thank you. Shall we move to the bathroom? Yes, please. Let's do. Yes, please. I feel like you might need it after that. This is the bathroom. Now, my concern is I can see out. Yes. I know what you mean. Yep. You can close the curtains for uh, a okay. more private... Uh, or, in your case... A more private? <laughs> yes. There are no degrees of privacy when you're in a bathroom. It's either private or it's a problem. <laughs> and anything you need, please let yes. us know. We'll One other room. Stay. That's what we need. One other... One other room. We're not sharing. What are we, Eric and Ernie? No, we're not sharing. That, that's completely lost on me. The Atlantis, our sober retreat for the next 48 hours, is situated on the world's biggest man-made palm-shaped island, the Palm. I mean, how late were those doors? I'm furious. <laughs> I was right next to it. Look at this comely centrepiece. There's a potter. Yes. Sculptor. I'm, how do you feel I'm, about I'm, it? That's pretty... I'm, yep. I'm impressed. A younger junk of me would want to climb that. Don't rule it out. <laughs> well, why don't you go to your suite? To my suite, OK. One of the 1,500 rooms here, and we can meet at the aquarium. What, in three days' time? In five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. So you expect to meet at... OK. Come on. Our rooms come with private 24-hour butlers... Hello? Welcome to see you. Someone's broken in already who have previously pretended to care about Kylie, De Niro, Kardashian and Vernon the Face K. Ceilings were a pinch high, it'd be perfect. Johnny's in the three-storey Neptune suite with its wall of fish. Oh, my God. Oh, this is madness. My personal joint, retailing at over eight and a half thou a night, has five balconies, gold-laced toiletries and, mercifully, British standard AC power sockets. You've got to be moved by this. I am moved, but I'm trying not to get sucked in to the <laughs> commodification of marine life. This would be an overly obvious place to rendezvous in a spy film. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 11 million litres of seawater, of course. 65,000 types of fish. 220 kilograms a day of food. Oh, God. The pleasing thing is this is 70 centimetres thick. That's the only thing I need to take away from here. I can happily sit with a paint in front of this for three days. We don't have time. Right, OK. There's nothing here that you can't get on a screensaver of any standard PC. <laughs> they have really committed to a colour scheme here. <laughs> this reeks of the first draft. <laughs> and that view is, just reminds me of early Richard and Judy. Why are you saying it like it's a bad thing? I'm not saying it as a bad thing. They've got a lot to teach us, still. Hello, welcome to Now Berlin. How do you say the name of the hotel? It's Now. No. Now Berlin. Okay. You don't need that H, you realise no, that? No, we don't okay. need that H. No. <laughs> Announcing itself as a music hotel, the Nahau offers two recording studios, open mic nights and musical room service. Do you have any flutes? And everyone do kind of folk rock. No. <laughs> and the lifts have broken themselves down into genres. I say jazz. OK, let's yeah. go jazz. Let's get some mingus. Come on. Oh, don't close on us, jazz. <laughs> That's jazz. It's gone. The moment's gone. Jazz is open again. Oh. Can, it's unpredictable, jazz. Wow, jazz. You never know what's going to happen. Wow. 
Wow, it's like a spaceship that Barbie's made. <laughs> I mentally scan the 60 square metres of my junior suite for trip hazards and make a note of the slipper situation before we bust out of the joint for a city tour. Hello. Hello, hello, hi. Is Jessica. this your first trip to bikes? Yes. Welcome. Claiming to be the world's first boutique hotel, this boho barrage has been hanging pictures of drunk-looking people on the wall since 1979. Let me take you to a place where membership is a smiling face. Membership of Smiling Face. I'm not getting in, basically. The joint's introvert in chief, Sonny, immediately leads us to some blue plaque pending. Me, Paul, that was featured in the video by two young boys, one named George and the other one named Andrew. Oh, I was going to say Punt and Dennis, but no. no. Okay. Wham! Wham. And? Club Tropicana. Drinks are free. Indeed. So this is it. This is the very Paul. It was a more operatic rendition than the original. <laughs> To help guests feel even less at ease, Sonny's boudoir contains a trough of outlandish threads. He's quite flirty. He's quite flirty. Even I can pick up on that. I can't read social cues. The man's got half his chest out. This guy's closing deals all day. Here he comes. And so, a little something yes. to brighten up your stay. Yes, please. Thank you. Because what I need is to be hotter. It's going to be okay. uh, this on, everything else off yes. for me. Well, with the kind of self-hatred only glitter can engender, we scope our sweets. I'm home. Difficult to know if that zebra is coming through or backing out. You don't really want to think about what's happening here, in a way. It's written on the walls. We want to maximise our exposure to Icelandic scenery, so we're staying out of town, in a hotel where said scenery will be clearly visible through the massive windows. The Hotel Ion was originally built as accommodation for workers at the nearby geothermal power station, which heats the hotel and 90% of Reykjavik. Jessica, I can't get misty-eyed. Our time is short. I've delivered what you've asked for, which is a modern hotel, 45 minutes from the city in a post-apocalyptic setting. Happy? Very happy, Richard, yes. Have I got time to put my boots on? You have three minutes. <laughs> Do you feel settled in? Yeah, it's, the room's beautiful, amazing view. There's a spa here. Well, I don't like this talk of being settled in because I equate that idiomatically with boredom. Let's explore. And so I fulfil my lifelong dream to ascend the same staircase that Johnny Depp almost certainly stepped foot on in the smash hit film, The Tourist. Didn't say what room number is. I'm gonna have to read off the tassel. Completely fictional archaeologist Indiana Jones mini broke here, as well as cultural colossi Goethe, Wagner, Chuck Dickens and your boy Byron. To conserve my dwindling energy, I decide to view Joe's quarters, called the Princess Suite after Katie Price's daughter, via the complimentary Wi-Fi. Let's have a look at the scale of the digs. What's going on there? This is the bedroom. I'm sitting on the bed at the moment. OK. And uh, over here I've got, like, a massive wardrobe. Can you see that? Yes. Probably means I've only got one thing to wear. Sure. I'll spread it out in the wardrobe. All right, I'm going to take you in the shower. Thanks. Because... It's the sort of bathroom Mariah Carey would have. Go on. Embossed towels. It's always good to know where you've stolen the towel from. Shall I take you to my sitting room? Do you have a sitting room? I... I'm ashamed to say I don't have a sitting room. Well, Joe, you can't dawdle there because we have a lot to do, OK? I haven't even had time to eat the complimentary saucer of baby's toenails. Keep them for later. You'll be hungry in the middle of the night. OK. All right, it's coming now. See you. Bye. Bye. Missing you already, etc. Don't lie. Don't, don't cheapen this. <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel Daniel. Ah. The Hotel Job was fully booked, so <laughs> we're here now. Hey, how are you? Hey, good, Hi. And you? you must Thank be Daniel. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> OK. Can we check in, please? Of course. The Daniel offers some unusual bunk-down options, and I've arranged something bespoke for Chris. Thank you, Daniel. You're welcome. Okay. I know how much you like to be next to a major highway. <laughs> um, Where are we going? We're going? We're going to your quarters. 
Yeah, room 777. Chris's room is 16 square metres of luxury 1952 Airstream Clipper. This is very popular with magpies. <laughs> In you go. That's really funny. Oh, bless I'm, you. It's just the first time that you've made me laugh. Oh, I know. Oh. You've got plenty of head height, right? Caravan. All right. Thanks, Dickie. The luxury Belvedere suite offers well-wide views of Vienna as well as a display hammock. But I have no time for display hammocks. <laughs> Unpacking squanders time and is a bourgeois indulgence. The ride bag means I'm ready to leave the moment I feel the heat in the city. It's not the Klaus. The Klaus cake. The Klaus cake. The hotel takes its inspiration from a 19th century poem called Karlavala, which played an instrumental role in the development of Finnish national identity. I love it's this. Like the uh, steps and frozen. Each room is based on one of Karlavala's emotional elements: desire, passion, and something I inspire. Envy. Yeah, it's going to be hard to sleep in here. Paul Sky Suite satisfies some of my most basic needs private street entrance, complimentary licorice, giant space egg, and 22,000 verses of Finnish epic. Sir Walter Mons, the end. We've got to discover the city. I feel like I already have. Our five-star shack, the Vida, has conjoined nine separate 700-year-old buildings, including a one-time butcher's guild that will have dealt with a flesh version of this customer. Welcome Hello. to the Vida Hotel. You've made a reservation with yes. us? Yes. Under what name was the reservation made? Um, Frank Skinner and Richard Ayuardi. Very good. Two separate rooms. OK, very good. That's why I don't travel abroad. I hate not being recognised. I think she knew, but she wanted to play it cool. Sig Feet Inc. Restaurant, Bar, Club, a shelf load of spirits, a roster of rooms, good use of oversized interlaced felt, and at its pinnacle, this penthouse. Oh, it's like Dr. No's place. But its roof portal only lifts up if you guff hard enough. Skinner! What are you doing mooching about like some oligarch? <laughs> There's a penthouse clause in my contract, didn't you know? Can you get your metabolism up? We've got to get going. This crate cost 200 mil and opened up shop this very year at time of recording. Can you not see the echoes of the natural landscape? That's what we've gone for. Hello, welcome to WMN. Hi, hello. How are you? Great, thank you. May I have your names, please? Yes. I am David Badil. David. I'm Richard Ayuardi. And Richard I said that with some shame, but I feel justified. <laughs> Your keys are ready. Here Thank you go, David. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What does, why is it called W? What does W stand for? Well, W stands for whatever you want, whenever you need it. It's a bit like a status quo song, yep. if you know it. Yeah. They were good people. Yeah. Maybe they should have gone into hotel business rather than just doing those same three chords. There's three bars, two restaurants, plus a helipad, rooftop pool and sun deck at time of recording. It's a lot of mirrors for a man of my age. As well as a slew of snacks, <laughs> there's a hint of Rupert Pupkin. Most people have been photographed against their will. I sympathise. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hang on. How Did are you? Gwyneth Paltrow just send over a token of her appreciation. Just now. There's it's not good, time. Good. There's not time. No. You're but, dawdling. Uh, you I need to hit downtown a man. But before we do. Okay. How was your room? It was fine. There was a slightly creepy easel. With what? Pictures of people who clearly didn't want to be photographed pretending they had heard of me. Okay. So in my room, I've actually brought you. There's like cut out my books. These are my children's books. Lovely, just in time for Christmas. Are these commercially available? Yeah, they are actually, oh, all good bookshops. Uh, and your children should buy these, but these were like cut out. They actually engage with what you do, yeah. rather than with me, where they just, their aim seemed to be to frighten me. Okay, we better go. Yeah, I think so. 